So we've got a huge range of equipment here today. We've got deception technologies, we've got communications technologies, we've got electronic surveillance, we've got electronic attack, really sort of most of the things that Defence wants to do in the EM spectrum. As the electromagnetic spectrum becomes ever more used um, and ever more congested, everything that Defence does is related to everything else. So there's no point us planning a really good electromagnetic deception if our own communications goes and gives it away. Or there's no point us doing electronic attack if we don't have the surveillance asset. So what we're doing really is synchronizing and coordinating all those different parts so that the commander can fight in the electromagnetic spectrum in a really integrated way. What it means is that, the, that there's a lot of data being generated by these sensors. Technology has moved faster, they can gather a lot of information on the environment, but that's not always able to get to the military operators that need it. We are building the technology that allows the information to get to where it needs to in near real time and get the information that is needed whilst filtering out information that isn't needed. This technology is, is becoming absolutely vital. DSTL funds a, a lot of work with industry, so a lot of the deep technological developments have been you know, technically partnered by DSTL, but the actual engineering has been done out in the, the supplier base, both industry and academia. Another aspect that DSTL has been very keen to get out of this work is to build the overall UK supplier base in terms of electromagnetic technologies. And this programme in particular has funded a lot of work, for example, our, our university-based EME hub. So we're building UK skills, which obviously all supports the government's prosperity agenda. EMA isn't going to win you the battle, but if you don't do it, it'll lose you the battle. I'm working with the summer students and the grads who are doing some of the algorithmic development for optimising the equipment that's being developed and tested here. Uh, what we're trying to do is sort of uh, embed adversarial techniques and, and an understanding in that work. So the work we're doing, we're not optimising against a sort of an, un an unthinking or a static situation. We're optimising against a reactive opponent that's trying to defeat us. Really, there isn't anything that quite compares to this that goes on in MOD in terms of its breadth of coverage. 